The EOS 7D has an 18 megapixel CMOS sensor. The key benefit of this new sensor is the fact that it actually enables the photographer to capture more of what they see. By having a more sensitive diode, it actually enables to capture more light, which means that they'll get better quality images, lower noise, more detail, better highlights. The Digic processor has been designed by Canon since its inception to be an incredibly powerful imaging engine and a specialist engine so all of the processing is done at a hardware level which makes it much faster much more energy efficient and that's the key thing with Digic 4 is it's its speed it's incredibly fast the three key benefits of Digic 4 are its ability to process full HD movies its noise control and its very low power consumption which maximizes the battery life of the camera the EOS 7D is unique in the marketplace being able to shoot at 18 megapixels and eight frames a second. Straight out of the box with no additional accessories. The way we've been able to achieve the eight frames a second is a redesign of the power control system that actually moves the mirror up and down. The new IFCL metering system on the EOS 7D is a 63 zone metering system. And it uses a combination of focus, color, and luminance. And all of those combined create a much more intelligent and accurate metering sensor. On the EOS 7D, for the first time, we've got five stops plus or minus exposure compensation. If you include bracketing that can go to plus or minus three stops, in total, the photographer has up to eight stops plus or minus in exposure compensation. This gives the photographer so much more range and possibility when they're shooting a range that we've never seen before in an EOS camera. The new autofocus system on the EOS 7D is a 19-point autofocus system. It offers the user a great level of flexibility in terms of its customization. So you can use your single AF point, you can use expansion points, so it will select one single AF point and then you can work with all the points around that single point. You can cluster your autofocus points into zones or areas the camera will then select which focus points it's going to use from that area. Or you can use all 19 points and it will select automatically depending on the subject, positioning, location.